What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Dude Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. And today we're doing The Celebrity Jump, the YouTube version. And for you brothers out there, um, some of you guys will definitely appreciate this. There is a young woman that is out in Tanzania by the name of Tiffany Banner. All right. And she basically moved from the United States to Tanzania by herself. She's only 19 years old. All right. And um, she's been catching a lot of um, a lot of traction lately. She appeared on the African Tigers YouTube channel. And I believe she's African American, but she has some very interesting content, for sure. All right. Now, but besides her being out on Tanzania uh, by herself, I would have to say, at being 19 years old, at that time she was way more woke than me. And at 19 years old, she's way more woke than 95% of you that come on and comment on my sections. All right. This is a shame that a young woman who is just out of high school has more sense about the black community than a lot than a lot of people do. And she has a video that was called Dear Fema Coon, Stop Bashing Black Men in the Gender War. I want to play a little bit of that because this is not just for she's talking to the women, but this applies to both. I want you to hear what she has to say, and then I want to come on and I want to talk about this and clear some of this stuff up, okay? Hello, Internet. I've got the AirPods in, so you can I can make sure that you hear me because I've got a very important message today. I'm going to be speaking to my African woman today, my black woman. And, you know, I might hurt some people's feelings. I might get canceled, all this, that, and the third. I don't really care. This is something that needs to be talked about and this is something that needs to be discussed. So yeah, I'm gonna be talking about the gender war thing. You know, the whole uh, black man ain't shit. I don't want me a black man. I want a brat, yeah, I want a white guy. I want a Latino guy, even though Latino's not a race. I want me an Asian, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here with the Vietnamese, yeah, yeah. I don't want no black guy, what can he do for me? We, as black women, as African women, we have to realize how disgusting that mindset is. Okay, one, for always bashing the black man, and two, for wanting to be with anybody but the black man. And you know, I'm gonna be really talking to the feminists today, you know, the femicoons, as I would like to say. The black women that are always like, black men aren't our protectors, we are our protectors. We're the only ones that have our backs. Black men have never done anything for us. Name me one good black man and name one good thing that one black man has done. Stop that. Oh my God, stop. I can literally go on Instagram or on Twitter or on TikTok and all I'll see is a black woman just going at it about black men, just listing a huge giant list about things that she hates about him. They're like, where are all the good black men at? Hmm? Because I don't see any. I don't see any good black men. They don't exist. Oh no, all black men hate us. They all want Beckys. They all want Juanitas or other non-black people. Like... So you are really trying to tell me that out of the billions of African people on this earth, not one likes another African woman? Seriously, are you really buying into that? Come on guys, we cannot be buying into this right now. Like you are smarter than that. This whole gender war was created by the white man. The same man that you're trying so hard to sleep with to forget about your issues. The white man wants to breed us out. Literally. Massa wants us to sleep and partner with and marry with every other race on the planet except for ours so we can be done so we can be goners so we can be gone for so every time you get on social media you get on twitter you get on tiktok you get on instagram talking about how much you hate black men then you are doing massa a favor himself how can you talk about how much you hate the white man 
and how much you hate white supremacy, but you still want to sleep with him. What type of sense does that make? You don't know the game that they're playing right now. Because all the people that are out here saying that they're so woke are the people that are most asleep. How can you claim yourself woke and your partner is not even an African person? How does that make sense? Feminists, wake up. We're in a race war. All right, you heard what she had to say. I could totally agree. But you know what? A lot of you brothers are going to have no problem with what she's saying because... You know, she's getting on the swirlers and she's getting on, um, you know, people who big up Brad and putting up, you know, you know, other groups of men over over black men. You never had no problem with that. But the same brothers are going to be trying to put Becky over Keisha. You know, and I have a problem with that. I have a big problem with that. All right, I don't mind roasting sisters and talking about weaving and selling up. I'll do that. But once you come over here with that junk about uh, these other groups are better than uh, than our women, I'm gonna have a problem with you. Now I'll admit that some groups that have a little bit more of a marriage culture and you know long term relationships is it, it, gonna be you know based off of things. It could be you know different, but I'm not gonna say it's better. Our people are the best. For our situation. And she's not only talking about. Black men. But black men going to have to stop doing the same thing. So many of you brothers out here man. Are so quick to put your own people down. It's okay to call out things that they do. And, 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 and why is. No you need to go and get you a thing music. You know you need to go get you with Karen. You need to go get you with Becky. You know. And I will call you mask your coons. <laughs> I guess. Right? A, a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you brothers and sisters, man, you know, nobody respects people that does that. Nobody respects you. When you when you go down and you tear down your own folks to other groups, nobody go right, nobody respects that. This is a woman that's 19 years old that gets this. Some of y'all are 40, 50, don't get this. How? And another thing is too, and I, one thing I don't like is when sisters come out and they they, they bash brothers, try to put a, a, another group of brothers, a man over the brothers, and you go out there and you out here bumming it up with Dusty Brand. Like, stop the show. You go out there, weave, sound up, dust it up, struggle it up, clean it up, oh my God, sound effect. Oh my God. You do all of that. Then you go out there and get you a struggle bag. You out there with Struggle Hector. You out there with all of these Struggle different dudes, and you out there sailing up still. You go out there and you bum it up. Same thing with all the brothers. I see that too. Like, oh man, take music. I actually sad music. Oh man, I'm so tired of Keisha, man. I'm so tired of Quantisha. I need me a Becky. Then I, then I, then I check you out, right? I see you out there holding hands while she out there sailing up. 14 billion kilograms of weight, what she's carrying around. Dusty struggling it up, and, and you out there at Walmart, you know, like, you know, when I see that, <laughs> a, a lot of y'all are struggling, okay. And this kind of video is taking a shot at the black male complainers and the black female complainers. Our people got to get it together. We can roast each other all day, but once you start putting people over our own, uh -uh, I can't rock with that. Sorry. You never put other people above our people. Never, ever, ever will we do that. I can't, I can't, I cannot go for that. Stop. You will not exalt Karen over Cretia, and you will not exalt Brad over Adante. Not over here, you won't. Your ass will be getting out of here. And that last part she said, y'all didn't like that part, huh? The part where she says, how can you do that when you're not even with an African person? Oh, that's going to hit some of y'all real deep. Especially some of you, you content creators who claim to be pro-black, but you, well, we'll leave that alone, huh? 
And I, I, you know what? I guess Jesus said, "What the little te- the, the the little t- children will teach you." I, she not a child or anything, but the young woman is spitting facts. Facts. I wish she was in Uganda right now. I will take. I will. I will take her shop. So I want you guys to go and subscribe to her channel. Hit the bell. They over there mad at her at her content, but she's telling the truth, and she's and she understands. See, there are searches out here that get it like this. And we need to stop saying it up. Well, guys, that's my time. It's your boy, O'Shea D. Jackson. Back at it again with another episode uh, 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 of The Celebrity Jump. Subscribe at the bell. Appreciate you. Uh, check out the first comment pinned to the top. Um, stop the show. Some of y'all are saying it up. All right, y'all really need to stop tripping. <laughs> I'm just, I just had to say that. Stop selling. Uh, check out the Patreon. All my information. As you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. I'm out.